I am filming my 2016 March favorites video right now. Before we get into all of the loverly things I was loving throughout March, I just want to point you guys in the direction of my last video if you haven't seen it yet. It is a vlog that I, sorry, somebody just walked by and I get really nervous when people watch me filming. <laughs> Anyways, I, what was I saying? Oh, the vlog I put up. It's important to talk about things, and this is like the most awesome platform of them all, of all social media, because it enables us to, enables us to use our voices um, in a way that's so raw, and so yeah, I put up a vlog, and if you haven't noticed, I have not vlogged on my channel in a long time. I don't actually know if I vlogged throughout the year of 2015. It's been a long time and so I just kind of sat down and had like a little chit chat with you guys and so if you haven't seen that I will put it here somewhere somewhere maybe down below who knows you'll find it and I just want to also remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already um, if you're on a mobile device remember you have to like scroll down and click the little button that says subscribe. You can't click on the screen. I don't know why we can't do that yet on mobile devices, but what you gonna do? Okay, so I'm ready and I'm excited to jump in to this favorites video. This is the Chi Keratin Silk Infusion. Holy hell. Excuse my language. This product is phenomenal. Long story short, I chopped like, I don't know, six inches off of my hair a couple of years ago and um, and then I did it again <laughs> and then I finally decided now that I want to grow my hair back out. So that's what I'm doing. Stupidly, I decided to go get highlights last summer. Yeah, last summer. And uh, notice that my hair was kind of dry and for the first time in my life I have experienced like dry ends and dry hair. I mean, I guess maybe because I'm so oily skinned, I don't, I never really had that problem with um, dry hair. But yeah, the second I eat, I got subtle highlights in my hair, and I mean like subtle highlights, my hair just went super dry. And so my hairstylist recommended um, a couple of serums for my hair, and this is the one that she said, um, I should try and she actually had it in the salon and used a little bit on me and really what sold me was the smell or the scent because come on you cannot beat chi products and their scent they are really 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 heavenly to be 100% honest with you I immediately got this because of the scent but also because I needed to start putting something on my hair um, to really help it get healthier she said so that's what I did. So if you're looking for a really nice serum that smells good, that isn't going to make your hair weighed down or oily or anything like that, I highly recommend this Chi Keratin Silk Infusion. You can wear it, or I mean you can put it in your hair morning or night, it doesn't matter, you're good to go. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is also hair related and it is the wet brush comb. The wet brush comb, you ask? It's funny because I was going to call this the wet comb, but it's it says wet brush right here. So I'm, I'm wondering if that is their like brand name, wet brush. It would make more sense if it's wet brush, but anyways, this is their comb version and I don't have any freaking clue where I got this. The reason I picked this up is because I remembered when I was trying to grow out my hair like years ago, years ago in high school, I switched over to a comb. And I don't, again, I don't really know what it was, but it seemed like when I started using a comb rather than a brush to, to get out my tangles and to just like care for my hair. I don't know if I'm just making things up. I hope I'm not just bullshitting you, but it just seemed like my hair grew faster when I started to just kind of be more gentle with it. But I've really been loving this. I think if you are someone who's kind of afraid of combs because of taint, like, because of like, you know, pulling out your hair and just being uncomfortable, I think that the wet brush made a really fantastic comb that doesn't feel like you're pulling your hair out of your head. Somebody else just walked by. How's it going? 
The next thing I want to talk about is a beloved foundation or tinted moisturizer that I have been obsessed with. I even posted it on my Instagram. I will insert a picture right here. This is the Velvet Matte Skin Tint and it's right here. Like I said, this is the Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Whoa. So, <laughs> I don't know why I was like, whoa. So this was featured, I think, in my Fresh and Minimal makeup tutorial, which I put out like a couple months ago. And uh, yeah, I talked about it on my Instagram. It's just something that I've really, really been loving lately. I'm wearing it on my skin right now. But this, yeah, so this is what it looks like. I use about two layers, which is, I kind of wish the coverage was a little bit more, but it's a skin tint. It's not going to be like a full coverage foundation. So, you know, I do one layer and then I kind of go in and add a little bit more to areas that I really need it. So like blemishes, uh, scarring, stuff like that. And then I use a combination of things to blend it out. I'll use a beauty blender, a dampened beauty blender. I use my Real Techniques like buffing brush and it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I put a little bit of powder on my T-zone and it's, it's very, very nice. I think the lasting power is also really, really nice. I wore this when I went clubbing with my roommates um, a week ago and we were out until like, I don't know, two o'clock in the morning and I had been out dancing for like several hours and my foundation looked really really nice at two o'clock in the morning so I think that says something. So something kind of weird I want to talk about is uh, soap. <laughs> A bar of soap and this is the Dove Go Fresh Cool Moisture Soap. I've used Dove for a very long time. It's something that my mom has always bought so it reminds me of home. It's just kind of like a traditional beauty product that I've used for years. I honestly don't remember which one I was using. Um, I think it was like the Pink Rosa one. Pink Rosa soap. Um, where I live here in Southern California. But I went and visited my parents back in Northern California um, for like the weekend. I'm not even kidding. The second I walked into her bathroom, it's, I was like, what is that air freshener that you have in here? What, what do you, ha what, is there candle burning? Like, what is that amazing scent? My mom was like, I have no idea. <laughs> it wasn't until I took a shower in her bathroom the next morning that I realized it was this soap. I could not believe a bar of soap was like giving off that much of a scent to the entire bathroom. I thought that that was really, really crazy. Um, but at the same time, it's a heavenly scent, so I like instantly fell in love. I couldn't, I couldn't believe I hadn't tried this specific one or this specific scent. But it's so nice, it does the same thing. It makes my bathroom smell super good and it's really luxurious and like suds up really nicely. And I've, I've loved using Dove soap and Dove body wash for like ever, so. Another thing I was loving throughout the month of March was the High Impact Brows Kit. And honestly, I received this for free in the Look Fantastic, maybe it was my February Look Fantastic Beauty Box. Um, but I've been obsessed. So this is what it looks like. It comes with multiple different shades and I believe you can incorporate these shades um, as eyeshadows as well so it's not just an eyebrow kit um like for example you can use these two shades to create or you know for your brows and then these two can be used as eyeshadows so i haven't done that yet i haven't used this product um for eyeshadow but i think that's really awesome that you're able to do that i'm wearing it on my eyebrows right now so if you can get yourself a little look right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing it on my eyebrows right now. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have my brows been on fleek? Are they? Maybe not. Let me know. Okay, and then the last product I want to talk about is the Orly Second Dry Quick Dry Top Coat. And I haven't talked about anything nails related in a long time. Okay. 
I want to know if this is like a similar problem or is this just my bad luck? Do your guys' top coats always form little bubbles on your nails? Or is that just me? What am I doing wrong? I feel like I'm storing them in like the right place. You know, they're not getting too much sun exposure or they're, you know, they're in my beauty cabinet. They're, they're, they're getting good exposure. So what is it? Why do I keep having bubbles in my top coats? Help a sister out. This is something that I have fallen in love with because it makes my nails super shiny. It makes my manicure last a long time and it doesn't give no damn bubbles. If you're looking for a nice top coat that's really gonna seal the deal and make it official, the Orly Second Dry Top Coat is nice. It's kind of pricey actually at CVS. I think I spent like $10 on it, but I was like, I just don't want any more bubbles. <laughs> I'm getting a little carried away, you guys. <laughs> Alright, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, that always helps. I am just looking around this room and seeing a lot of cobwebs. Ah! Okay, we need to do some dusting, like right now. I think because I have these like big ass studio lights like blaring at me, it makes everything in this room just like more visible and so I'm just like, what? what is that? What? Don't forget to stop by and say hi, start a conversation, leave a comment, engage with me. I love that and I hope you are all having a marvelous week and I will speak to you very soon.